sexism in gaming. And joining G4... Yes. This is not where I thought we were going, I know, but I'm here. I have no here. idea. I'm listening. Yeah. In joining G4, I was ecstatic to be part of something that I grew up watching as a child. But every time G4 is brought up in various channels, even in this YouTube channel, we have the chat in front of us, I can see you, without a doubt, there will be backlash because I'm not as bangable as the previous host. It's somehow- Talk to him, Frost! It has somehow been expected that you can talk about how much you jerked off to women as a compliment. That's it's weird. not a compliment. It's weird. It's dehumanizing and it's weird. Women do not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Morgan Webb, Olivia Munn did not exist to be nice on the eyes for you. Hey, she cooking, y'all. And that's just <laughs> obvious sexism. You don't need to explicitly objectify women or declare that you hate women to be sexist. Just go ahead and check out Thorne's latest meltdown on Twitter for some spark notes. Now, here at X-Play, our reviews are written and produced by a team of people. There are too many games for one person to shoulder the burden. So we divide and conquer. And when we use language like we or I, that's the reviewer. That's coming from the mouth and experience of the reviewer reading that review. View. And that's not to say that Gerard, TBH, Adam, or myself don't contribute to the reviews. We absolutely do. But it'll always be in varying degrees and take a whole team behind us. That's why we're X play and not Adam play. We have done the experiment and controlled for the variables. Adam will read a script written by the same writer that I will read the other half of the script for, but I'll be the one flamed. And yeah, it also happens to Gerard and TBH, but that doesn't discount the sexism of how it happens to me when it does. Both things can be true, that there is a general hatred of any change that isn't Adam, and that all receives special flame just for being a woman. And I wish I could turn the camera around so that you could see the incredible team that make X-Play. Half of our producers and writers are women. Emily, Abby, Megan, Joe, Jake, Zipper, Gabby, it goes on and on and on. Former writers that are now on ATOS like Vanessa. When you're in our DMs or on those YouTube comments or in Twitch chat right now, those reactionary threads thinking that I'm somehow ruining your current X-Play experience because you can't objectify me how you previously did to Morgan or that I'm somehow less qualified to speak on something but you can't quite put your finger on why even though I'm reading the exact same script as Adam but you have no problem with he's part of it. You're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day and you're gatekeeping the gaming space. So maybe for 2022, we'd be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Yeah! Hey, hey, I got it. I just say I feel bad for you. Uh, That's a. No. I don't need to go. I don't need to frost. I feel bad. For you. I don't need to go. Don't, don't. We're good. I'm good. I'm good. That was, that was the best it's ever gonna get out of the, out of us. I don't need to go. Thank you. Mm. Hate speech and online gaming. Ooh. The saucy topic. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. Would be a nice start. Um, yeah, really, it's, I don't know, I, I, I'm assuming no one would attest to being one of those guys who are in this room right now, uh, but there seem to be a lot of them. Uh, maybe a lot of them are in junior high school, I don't know. If you know someone who does this, could you stop playing with them? Could you call them a douche? Uh, I mean, it, it really does ruin the experience. When I hear, you know, clearly a young person using racial epithets or derogatory terms for, for, for homosexuals, it's just... It, it just makes my stomach churn. And th the idea that we are supposed to be a culture of people who at one point, if not now, felt already on the margins of a greater society, and then you just see this behavior that it just replicates the same thing with a different target, it really kind of makes the whole affair seem a little bit deflated and defeated. Uh, it, it really, and, and it, don't even give me that First Amendment nonsense. You have every right to say it, and I have every right to call you a fucking asshole and try to find your address yes. and put it out there. 
One more thing. Are any of you people part of this absolutely ridiculous men's rights Reddit subreddit thing? This, this word misandry, which is thrown around with the frequency of, of Rip Taylor's glitter, is just got to be, I mean, it's just don't, you don't get to flip the argument back to you, okay? You are the problem. Acknowledge it. Go home and think about how shitty you are. End of story. Well, now that you've... Now that you've got Reddit pissed at us, we might as well continue. <laughs> Anita Sarkeesian is not Magneto. And when people say she needs to be stopped, I think that's what people say about Magneto. <laughs> She's not that. She doesn't have a brother, well, a sisterhood of evil mutants. She ain't going to take your games away. And people calling you a dick for saying awful antique archaic words on xbox live um it's not gonna make your games less fun if if that's what you need to make a game fun then you are disrespecting video games for one thing um and this is the reason why i have to play call of duty on wii u now so <laughs> yeah all right that felt good it's okay it's okay yeah <laughs> Until we check our Twitter replies in the fucking morning. And oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if someone has a Twitter account that's just men. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get that right now. And just write... <laughs> 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 <laughs>